This is the work of a genius. What am I doing here instead of animation? Well, loyal viewer, I am chilling like a villain. Which brings me to why you're watching. Behold the wall of villainy. It's enough to make a grown man cry. Trademark pending. There are three categories. Starting from the top tier. Top tier is for the big boys and girls. The big hitters. The things that could grab a hold of the holy grail of villainy itself and become legend. Ultimate power. They and only they can join the ranks of love. The League of Villainous Evil. Evil, 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 If you catch that reference, send me an email. Mid-tier is for those ones that could rule a country at most, but on a planetary scale, uh, but a blip. They give you a lesson in trickery, and they go down in history. They are Wano. We are number one. You'll figure it out later. And at the bottom of the tier, are the worst villains like they can just be beaten by your mom with a shoe do you even lift bro they are nuisances at worst hooligans at best i call them trash panda so the ranks are determined by power planning execution skill motivation costume resources meme power my general mood on the subject in question but enough chitty chat chatty -de chat chat let's get into the inaugural members step up Thanos. Thanos is coming! Yeah, dude. Thanos is coming. Eliminate his army before he gets all six infinity. I'm good. The Mad Titan. The Angry Grape. Lord of the Chins himself. Let's go. Henchmen stacked. Two. Everybody fear the pimp glove with the rocks of destiny. The end is near. Oh. Motives. Understandable. Power level. Man literally beat the Hulk back into banner. That says it all. And his plan, executed to evil perfection. Gone bad. Excuse me, Mr. Uh, Scarlet. Um, uh, hello, uh, I'm SD Rawman. But actually, Thanos is just a man who had a plan that no one wanted to admit, you see? So, doesn't that make him, you know, an anti hero of sorts? And to that I say, sure, his motives make sense, I'm not questioning that. But he could have just as easily doubled all resources, given all species in the universe the ability to manage their resources way better than what they are now. But no, half of the universe had to become vacuum cleaner food. And he also made it so that everybody that was near them saw their precious loved one get turned to dust. You cannot tell me that this scene... I don't feel so good. Was not pure evil. Big Easy, welcome to love. But no more simping for Lady Death. That, that's not cool. Stop, stop, stop simping. You get dropped down it here. None of that. Okay, now. It's time for the King of Wano till forever. The end of time. Don't at me. The man is... <laughs> Robbie Rotten himself, a master of disguise, a technological genius. I should have made a sandwich instead of making you. A master strategist, master negotiator. Have you ever heard the sound of a rubber ball breaking a window? Uh-uh. Would you like to? And the former ruler of Lazy Town, henchmen not included. So not only was this man a great villain, but we were introduced to him having already won. Now, that already sounds like grounds that he should be on love rank already, but the only reason he isn't that is that it's too much work for him. I mean, he probably tried already, but his worth ethic has been summed up into one phrase by the man himself. If at first you don't succeed, so that means that on his first attempt at capturing Lazy Town, he did it! A dapper looking man with top tier memes to his name and pipes to boot all hail the King of Wano. Discuss it if you want, but that man is the King of Wano. We are number one! And last, probably least, the King of the Trash Panda. Rattle me bones! Skeletor! Listen, I am not nice, I am not kind, and I am not wonderful. Skeletor. He has the power. He has the skill. 
the scientific and magical know-how, the attitude to achieve his goal. But what gets him down, what always fails him, are his henchmen. Why do I surround myself with fools? Even the robots are smarter than you. His single goal is to capture a single castle, but it's been five ever and he still hasn't got it. You surround yourself with incompetence and your plan fails. You can try and hire better squad mates, but the pool you look into sucks as well. But why can't I join your gang? Cause you were a whip scientist and you could be a whip villain. It's like trying to choose between drinking the ocean or drinking public pool water. One will kill you, and the other will leave you in shame. But the reason I'll give you some grace, boom boy, is that you are the best at insulting your henchmen. They should call you Wimp Lash. Just as I suspected. Hello, you metal munching moron. I could write a book about what you don't know. I mean, you did it before it was even cool. Not to mention the legion of memes that have spawned in your wake. I love a, I love me a good Skeletor meme. Psh, any day. Your memes are iconic. Respect where it's due. Now go shake your fist angrily at the heavens while I put you on this. Right about there. Top tier of the worst. Blundering fool! Trash Panda Man. That is it. I'd like to thank you very much for reaching the end of this video. You can yell at me in the comments if you don't agree. Hit one of the thumbs and then hit the thing with the favorite color of mine. Spoiler alert, it's red. Stay tuned and we'll spin the wheel, spin the wheel for the next badge of rogues. Where's my rooibos tea? Ah, there it is. See you in the next video. Maybe I should get myself henchmen. Ah, it's too much work.